Kevin Keegan has spent a fortune to bring success, nearly 20 million to get the best. But youth team coach Chris McMenemy has to work at the other end of the scale. Somewhere in Newcastle's youth team could be the next Peter Beardsley. So many great players have come from Tyneside, and if McMenemy can unearth the talent, he could save the club millions. The problem that we've had in the past, possibly as a football club, is a lot of the good talent has left the area. We're determined that's no, no longer going to be the case if we can help it. Uh, and a lot of our efforts, a lot of resources are being put into this side of the football club just to ensure that we keep the best talent. They're not just going to come here and saunter through a couple of years of apprenticeship, get a full-time contract and walk into Newcastle United first team. Before, they had eight or nine in this first team here. When Ozzy Ardilis was manager and they were going down into the third division. Now, if that's a youth policy, I don't want it in Newcastle United. The Northern Intermediate League ranges from Darlington's youngsters right up to Premier League hopefuls like United's opponents here, Sheffield Wednesday. No big crowds yet to spur on these lads, but in Newcastle's team is Chris Holland. He's already tasted the big time. He was the provider when Paul Bration gave United the lead. Bration has already made a name for himself with eight goals in the team's 10-1 destruction of Hartlepool. His incentive will be following a proven path. People like Steve Watson and Robbie Elliott and latterly Chris Holland last year have got into the first team and done very well. And I think the success of any large club depends on the balance between the older, more experienced or the, the expensive player and the homegrown talent that we would try to produce at this football club. The balance in this game was blowing in the wind. It was behind Sheffield when United keeper Adam Wheeler was left stranded and Wednesday's Gavin Bailey got the equaliser. But Bration was keeping in the spotlight. His impressive solo run carved the way for a Newcastle winner. Wednesday's giant defenders were left trailing and Gareth McAlinden was just on hand to make sure. So, another small step on the long, hard climb to the very top. I don't feel sorry for him. You know, they had too many in before. They all thought, oh, they've got the best youth policy in the country. We didn't have the best youth policy in the country. We had one of the worst first teams in the country. That's why we had the best youth policy.